Elsie was born March 28, 2017, and we learned just prior to her birth date that uh, Elsie had a rare condition, a lymphangiomatosis, which is a genetic disposition that produces faulty lymphatic vessels. Well, we were used to my wife working, myself working, uh, good happy home balance with you know work uh, activities with our daughter, family time, etc. Lots of travel. Uh, but unfortunately, when Elsie was born and we had to relocate her to Philadelphia for her care, uh, we had to make a decision. One parent had to be there for the majority of time with Elsie, or we had to choose if both parents could be there at the same time. But uh, with Elsie, uh, it's been important for us as a family to be there with her as she's fighting this major challenge. And so the sacrifice uh, was that I would uh, forego working to spend time with Elsie the majority of the time. Of course, uh, any time, regardless of you know, how much income you're bringing in, when there's a loss of an actual income, uh, it definitely takes a toll. And so fortunately, my wife and I, um, we prepared for rainy days, but uh, we've been at this for over two years now. And so uh, we know here in America that uh, one of the largest or the, the fastest way for a person to uh, experience bankruptcy is through um, you know, medical issues. And so we are fortunate to be firm and stable, but it's very difficult when you have to devote a lot of time and attention on your eight-year-old and your baby in the hospital. And so to worry about bills and things of that nature is just an additional stress that's, that's tough to deal with. Well, my wife uh, decided that we could use some help paying a cell phone bill. Uh, we have a, a pretty uh, nice size bill that comes in every month from a cell phone and so we made a decision to select the cell phone bill to submit to you all and you were all gracious in uh, providing some assistance to, to cover that bill. It means a great deal. Uh, w when we look at this journey and consider all the support and help that we received all over the place, it has kept us afloat. Um, you know, some individuals may provide, um, you know, spiritual support to uh, financial support, which is what you've all given us, but um, just to have this full wraparound community who uh, have taken it upon themselves to serve and care for people in the time of need, it means everything. And so it goes above and beyond, in my opinion, the call of duty to what we're supposed to be and who we're supposed to be to, to one another in times of need.